G'day guys, Adam Kogan here, and I am with William Liebenberg. How are you, William? I'm well, Adam. Yourself? Excellent. I love your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to talk about API management, yep. and let's just talk about the documentation first. Okay. So, we have Swagger. Yep. Do you like Swagger? Yes, I love Swagger. It makes uh, life a lot easier when you have an API to work with. Right. So, you have this tool that mm -hmm. you can use this, and there's other tools. Yep. Um, and I will give some feedback to you on what the results were of a quiz that we asked a bunch of developers. So are you familiar with documenting APIs? Yeah. Hopefully most of them are fairly familiar. Mm -hmm. Now there's a number of developer, non-developers as well. So we'll see what they say. Mm -hmm. And we have 43 responses here. So that's almost everybody. Yep. Yes. And then we want to find out once they document it, what URL do they like? Okay. Interesting. Yep. Yes. And then um, in terms of management, um, what tools do they like? Mm -hmm. You know, there's Azure, there's Azure API management, there's uh, Ocelot, mm -hmm. um, Kong and MuleSoft and others. Yeah. Um, I've got a few up here. So you've got Swagger and Swagger Hub is another one. Yep. Um, and this is the one that we like a lot, uh, API management. But Amazon have their own um, API gateway. There's Kong. Yeah. You use this? Seen it? Have it? Uh, it's, it's very popular. I haven't used it yet, uh, but there's a lot of hype and a lot of news around it. It certainly seems uh, it's got a lot of tools in there to um, cover most cases. You know, and, and make you know, service mesh is a big topic. Mm. Uh, and you know, managing Kubernetes is also really cool. So uh, I haven't had the opportunity to use it yet, but okay. it sounds impressive. So there's other ones out there, many. So let's look at the responses. Let's look at the first one. Are you familiar with the topic of documenting? Mm -hmm. I'm a developer, no, it's very rare that a developer doesn't know. Lots of non-developers don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. That's so, expected. Yes. Yeah. So uh, let's move on to the sex, second one. Say you've generated a portal, what URL do you prefer? And the most popular one clearly is this guy, mm -hmm. northwind.com slash API. Yep. Now that's not uh, 100%. Uh, some people also like northwind.com slash docs. Um, yeah. And uh, some people are a developer and they couldn't care less. Yeah. Now let's look at the ones where they went other. Let's find That'd out what they put. Yeah. You know. So with other, uh, you can see the most popular one here is API. But if we jump down here, uh, some people like uh, API. So a subdomain mm -hmm. API dot Northwind slash docs. As a combination of yep. both, which is good. Other one, a uh, developer, like a, another subdomain. Mm -hmm. Jason says it depends on the tool used to display the API documentation. For Swagger, the convention is slash Swagger. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm personally not a fan of that. It's probably best to stick to the convention. For Redoc, it's slash Redoc. Previously, I was using slash API, but generally stick with slash Swagger. Mm -hmm. I would say, based on that convention, uh, unless you love subdomains, uh, the solution is slash API. There mm. you go. Yeah. Now, which of these API management tools do they like or do they know the most of? Uh, you can see that it's uh, API management uh, from Azure. Yeah, yeah it's got the, the big share there. And you can see it's moving right more. Mm. So used to a lot is the dark blue, which is the one. Uh, the others they haven't really heard of too much. Oh, a little bit of MuleSoft there. Interesting. Yeah, a little bit, yes. So um, now, are you familiar with any other API management tools? So let's have a look at that. And I've, I've summarized this. So uh, Bryden said uh, Swagger Hub. Uh, Swagger Hub. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Andreas, Swagger and a Open API, which is yeah, uh, their the documents. Yeah, yeah, Swagger, Swagger, Swagger. Um, OK, so in China, some of the guys use some other ones. Have you heard of Akana? I have heard of Akana, yes. It seems Dubbo? Sort of popular. Uh, yeah, Dubbo is sort of a... Um, a sort of proxy from Apache. It's not quite API management. And uh, Envoy. No, I'm not sure why you... I that. think that's sort of similar to, to Dubbo. Um, right, okay. It's not quite the, the full API management that we're using. Ah, and your answers, here we go. Oh, yes. Pick Ocelot, up a lot. <laughs> no. Okay, and Kong. Okay, yeah. similar yeah, to what so you said is. before. Yeah. And Costa is into uh, AWS. So there's the summary, Will. Yep. What would you say were the learning points from this? 
for me, uh, yes, everyone is fairly familiar with documenting your API, or at least using a documented API. Yes, every developer. Every every developer, yeah. Um, and that uh, yeah, that everyone sort of agrees on where it should live. You know, yes. would like to be consistent. So having the Northland slash API, mm -hmm. that's great. And that for at least uh, for us, uh, a popular choice is Azure API Management. A little sprinkle of uh, some of the other ones there. Um, and yeah, for me, API management is a ticks all the boxes. Yeah. And we've used it a couple of times uh, in anger mm. uh, with great results. So anyway, for a small survey, you can clearly see that Azure API management seems to be the way to go. And this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.